very early on in the process. I meet with as many of my colleagues and stakeholders who I think have relevant inputs to the grant. Sometimes it includes mentors and sometimes that includes other experts in the field, but it also includes my field team. So when I go and communicate an idea to them, it needs to make sense to them. So for example, in this recent grant from Grand Challenges, I went to my field team and I said, do you think there is any value in us following up these children? And if so, why? And what are the things you think have been unanswered in the work we've done so far? And I feel like you get such a wealth of inputs that are coming from a range of people, which include the end users of your research, that it helps you to express and articulate or communicate those ideas. Um, to a much more wider audience, and I think that's really important when you write a grant. Um, and the other thing I do, it seems really obvious, and it probably is something everyone does, but it's just reviewing and having your draft shared with experts, and if they don't understand what you're doing, and if they can't see your key messages coming out, then you know where exactly you need to work again in, in the second draft or the third draft. Um, so to me, these are the kind of comprehensive things that I cover each time.